Stevens with a shotgun here with the wide out the way. Little Utah flip to Saran Stacy. He breaks free to the 40, to the 50. He turns it off. He's going to go. Saran Stacy. Touchdown on the little flip pass. going to tap into your gifts, if you're going to ever fulfill the potential that God has placed down the side of you, you've got to know Him. You've got to have a relationship with Him. What is faith? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. And that's why Corinthians said that, that though he was rich, he was made poor, that through his poverty you might be become rich. He that knew no sin became sin. He that knew no sin became sin so that he that knew no righteousness could become the righteousness of God. You get faith by being around like-minded believers, people that are encouraging you, people that, people, people that motivate you. See, one of the things I do even now in my life, I refuse to get around people who are negative. I, I refuse to be around people who are constantly telling me what I cannot do. Man, I've heard that. Some of you have heard it. I've heard that most of my life, what I cannot do. You know, what, with, you know you're never going to be able to graduate from this. You're never going to be able to do, make this football team. You're never going never gonna to fit in. You know, all of these things, you know. I, 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 I got, if you're in a crowd where someone is constantly telling you what you cannot do, trust me, you need to get in another crowd. And you'll never, you'll never activate your, your gifts and your calling. Yeah, thank you. So, so you, you're not going to activate your God-given potential by, by just practicing religion. And then you're not going to practice your, and even your, even the gifted people that are in here, the, the intelligent people, the people that graduate with honors. You know, you too, the same way. It's not, it's not about how smart you are. It's not about how, even the athletes in here, it's not about how great you are on the football field or basketball field or volleyball, whatever sport you play. What it comes down to is your character. It comes down to your character. It comes down to what you will not do. See, your gift may get you into this college. Your gift may get you into the armed forces or your gift may get you in on a good job, but it's your character is what's going to keep you there. It's your character, your character, see, your character starts speaking. You know, I've seen a lot of people, I've seen a lot, even Christians, I've seen a lot of Christians that they're gifted, they're gifted to get up and sing, or they're gifted to get up and preach, or they're gifted to do the works of God, but they're nasty in their attitude. Yeah, they're, they're, they're angry, they're, 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 they're bitter, you know, I mean, see, I'm thinking about, see, see, your gift can get you into the door, but it's your character is what's going to keep you. Look how strong your God is. Look how he's switching places with you. Look how Jesus took the beating. Jesus took the stabbing. Jesus took the neglect. But yet he still came to you. He still finds you. When you are bleeding on the side of the road, when you are abandoned, when no one would call you, when no one would talk to you, look at Jesus coming to you to change your life around. Give God a praise in here. Give Jesus a praise in here. Look at Jesus. So as you go into this next step in your life, man, go with character. 
go with, go with it, go with doing the right thing when no one's watching. Whatever, whatever charity, whatever donation, whatever sick person you pray to, whatever poor person that you broke your heart and you reached out to, God says, I'm going to repay you. He said, I'm going to give it back to you. Hebrews 11 and 6 tells us, tells us that he that cometh to God must believe that he is. And he's what? He's a rewarder. He said he's a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. Christ said, I'm not only going to pay you back, but I'm going to give you heavenly rewards because you're seeking after me. And I don't know about you, but when Jesus Christ talking about paying me back, when Jesus Christ says I'm going to pay you back, when Jesus Christ said I'm going to give back everything that you've given away in my name, when Christ says he's going to pay you back, look what he says in Malachi 3.10. He says, bring all my tithes to the storehouse so that may be meat in my house and test me with this. Know that I will pour you out a blessing. I will open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive. God says, I'm going to bless you so much that I just going to overflow to your wife, to your husband, to your son, to your daughter, to your grandchildren, to your great-grandchildren. Jesus Christ said, I'm going to pour you out a blessing that you and I have room enough to receive. You can't handle what I'm going to do for you. Give him a praise in here. Give him a praise right now. Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. The Lamb of God, I feel the anointing in this house. He said, I'll do the thing for you. I'll do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you ask or think according to the power that is within you. He says, I'll take you from nowhere. I'll take you from nowhere to obscurity and I'll bring you to notoriety. I'll take you from a broken place, a broken surgery, uh, everybody laughing at you. He said, I'll bring you back everything that you lost. He said, I'm the God that restore. He said, I'll restore you the year that the palmers were and the canker worm and the locusts ate up. He said, I'll restore unto you the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. He said, I'll restore your reputation. I'll restore your money. I'll restore everything that you lost. I'll give it back to you. That's how Christ paid you back. That's why Jesus Christ paid you back. That's my God. That is my God. That's why I praise my God. That's why I praise him. I don't matter. I don't, I don't care what people think to me when I get up and praise God. Besides, you could be one of the ones who looked at me on the side of the road and passed on by. I owe Jesus to praise. I praise him at all times. Bless the Lord at all times. And his praises shall continue to be in my mouth. I will bless the Lord at all times. I owe him the praise. I owe him the praise.